Hello mga kabahayan! I'm back! It's Mini Badar and um, welcome to my channel. And I know na hindi ako masyadong nakapag-update sa inyo, maybe more than a month because I've been very busy and actually kagagaling ko lang din sa sakit. So, yeah, um, but um, despite of that, nare-receive ko lahat ng mga messages nyo, lahat ng mga inquiries nyo, lahat ng mga, uh, mga concerns ninyo and uh, yung iba sa inyo na nag-start ng mag-process papunta dito sa Russia. Um, thank you so much for trusting and um, I will really do my best to answer all of your inquiries and you know to to assist you whatever I could you know help you with and also maraming maraming salamat din po dun sa mga nagla-like ng aking OFW story in Russia Facebook page maraming maraming salamat po and, um, yeah, I am now here in St. Petersburg. Wala na po ako dun sa Russia. Sa, sa Moscow, I mean. Um, so, yeah, we will talk anything under the sun today. Um, I'm very sad about dun sa isang nag-message sa akin um, regarding dun sa nag-process ng paper dito sa Russia. Um, I'm really, really sad and um, I know I know in myself na hindi ako nagkulang ng reminder sa inyo. Okay? So, if you are currently processing your paper or if you're talking to someone, um, someone you know here in Russia uh, and telling that um, they could help you process your paper and uh, they could introduce you to an agency or to agent. Okay? I've been telling this from the very beginning, since day one, uh, make sure that the person you're talking to and, um, you know, uh, or the agency that you are connected, connected with is actually legitimate, alright? So, say for example, there is a case, um, I think there are two Filipinas, and uh they were offered to work here in russia actually in sochi okay in sochi yes if i'm not mistaken um if you're watching please correct me if i'm wrong okay um uh so they started processing and as um if i could remember it right they they initially paid 1000 us dollars which is amount to 50000 pesos 50000 pesos okay so that was the initial payment, and um, the person they're talking to is actually a Filipina, okay? Still Filipino. Um, so meaning to say, um, that person, yung Filipino na kausap nila, is they will just introduce them to uh, an agency, a Russian agency, okay? But I've told before, long, long before, na um, it's better to find a legitimate agency which I mean is um, Russian agency hindi yung may kakalala kayo dito sa Russia or may nakausap kayo through Facebook or any or through online na telling na telling na matutulong kayo makapunta dito no if you're going to pay okay for invitation okay then it's better if you pay it directly mismo dun sa agency Meaning to say, they could, they would really process your, your paper. Hindi yung magbabayad kayo directly dun sa kausap ninyo. Why I am telling this? Because they can run away your money. Which already happened to those two Filipinas na nakausap ko. And I really, really feel bad about it. Kasi I know, hindi naman ako nagkulang ng reminder sa inyo. And imagine, um, the money is 50,000 pesos per person. Okay? And it's only commercial visa, I think, or tourist visa, okay? Working working invitation is really expensive, okay? Um, I think working invitation is around 1,000 US dollars or more. But if you're going to process your invitation like tourist, you can you can apply tourist invitation online, That which is only, I guess, $150, okay? And... If you're going to come here tourist, but your purpose is to work, actually, um, hindi po maganda yun. Hindi ko 
hindi siya ina-advise and hindi, at lahat ng mga Pilipino dito hindi namin ina-advise na ganun ang na ganun ang pagpasok mo dito sa Russia because it would be very risky and it would be very dangerous for you na pumasok with that kind of paper that you have the tourist you know because when you say tourist the purpose of your visit is to tour around not for work especially right now na masyadong mahigpit ang mahigpit ang gobyerno ngayon because um because um the Russian government wants to sweep away those those foreigners who don't have um documents okay all right um another thing um another thing kapag may kausap na kayo may kausap na kayo na agent or agency ask the name of the agency basic thing what's the name of the agency san san yung address niya anong number anong website, anong Facebook page, alright? Ask those basic questions. Hindi yung, ah, talaga, ganito, ganyan, you know? Don't easily, um, don't easily trust or wag kayong maniniwala kaagad kapag sinabi na, oo, madali lang makapunta dito. Yes, madali ka makahanap ng trabaho dito. Madali lang yan. Dito na lang aasikasuhin yung paper mo. No. It's not like that. Really. It's really not like that. Um, it's better if you search, search, search for um, the name of the agency, name of the agent. Kasi uh, meron namang mga, meron mga pages, Facebook pages na pinopost yung mga illegal agents or yung mga, yung mga tao na, na, ng scam, ng, ng mga tao na gusto pumunta dito sa Russia. Pinopost naman yun. So, better na mag-research muna kayo before you before you give out money okay kasi um kapag itinakbo na yung pera nyo kagaya nung nangyari sa mga ibang kausap ko wala na po tayong magagawa though um though I ask my friends about that person and um we all <laughs> sad about it because of course they feel like they nanloko ng kapo Pilipino it's really really sad and disappointing so that is why I want to tell you to be extra careful, okay? And it really breaks my heart, really, with, with all sincerity. It really breaks my heart when um, when there are people or when there are Filipinos who are trusting Papua Filipino and then nalohalang. Okay, so another thing. Um, ano pa ba yung concern na tinanong sa akin? For men, okay. I think I've said this many times. Um, na it's very hard for men here. Mahirap sa mga lalaki na, you know, um, maghanap ng work here if you are not very fluent in Russian, both verbal and writing. So, um, better if you will come here couple. Kapag couple kasi, mas okay. And there are employers na nagahanap ng couple, okay? Yung, yung wife is sa bahay, and then yung lalaki, driver or boy, ganyan. And I think the paper is much easier kapag couple siya, okay? Um, kapag nagkaanak, uh, Ang gagawin lang is uuwi sa Pilipinas, mga anak, and then after mga anak, mag-rest a few months yung mother and then babalik ko ulit dito. Ganun lang. Okay. Um the child cannot stay here in Russia now. <laughs> Though, meron mga Filipinos na nandito yung anak nila. Ayun. What else? Um mga ba? Uh, yes. Uh, kapag magagaling kayo sa Pilipinas, okay, this is also, um, this is also a tip. Kapag may kausap na kayo na Asian and sinabi na, okay, asik kasi yun namin yung invitation niyo or yung invitation mo, um, mag-down ka ng pera. Okay. First, dapat na ang sasabihin sa inyo is, ito yung mga nasa Pilipinas, ha? Um, you get a postil from BFA, and when you have a postil, Send it here to Russia, you know, to your agent, to your Russian agent or Russian agency. Send it here, and then we will process your invitation. Why? 
Without the pastille, they cannot process your invitation. Okay? So, dapat, may apostille po muna kayo na magagaling sa DFA sa Pilipinas and sa kanya siya ipapadala dito. After, now, kapag napadala na sa inyo yung, kapag napadala nyo na yung apostille dun sa inyong agent, then your agent will process the invitation for a few months. Maybe it would take one or two months, I guess. And then, um, kapag um, okay na yun, uh, while processing the invitation, ginagawa na rin ang inyong contract dito sa Russia. Okay? Um, I-re-ribbon uh, siya. I think wala din din siya red-ribbon eh. I think nakaribbon na lang siya. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, and then, kapag okay na yon, kapag, kapag okay na yung invitation and yung contract ninyo, for working visas ah, kapag okay na yung invitation ninyo and contract ninyo, then your agent will send it to you, to, you, to Philippines. Okay? And then, that's the time you can pay. Okay. You know, <laughs> yun yung sinasabi ko. <laughs> na, hindi yung, um, um, hindi yung, yung kausap ninyo is, wala pa nga, hindi pa nga napaprocess, nag-aas na ng pera. Okay, hindi siya ganoon. Alright, another thing that made me really concerned is, um, kapag may kausap kayo, and yung kausap ninyo is in-offer sa inyo na mag-escort. Have you heard about it? Yes, there is escort na <laughs> pwede doon sa Pilipinas. Okay? Um, as much as much as I know, I don't know. Okay, I think uh, ang bayad sa escort is sixty thousand pesos. Six zero. Okay, sixty thousand pesos for escort. What is escort? God, I'm not going to nito sa sinasabi ko. But anyway, um, uh, para para sa inyo. Okay, I'm I'm gonna tell this. Yes, may escort dun sa Pilipinas. Escort is, um, hindi na kayo dadaan sa ibang ahensya ng gobyerno. This is illegal, okay? And then, um, kapag, nag kapag nagbayad kayo for escort, someone from the immigration will check your documents. Actually, nakatimbre na kayo doon. At kapag nakita na nila yung pangalan mo, tatataka na lang kayo and you can go. So, meaning to say, hindi nyo na kailangan ng, uh, as much as may visa kayo, hindi nyo na kailangan ng ibang documents. Okay? Dun, dun lang sa Pilipinas ang escort. Pero pagdating dito sa Russia, wala na kayong escort. It's all your own. Okay? Um, and, uh, because of the current situation here, yung shadow may Anyway, kahit hindi naman mahigpit, hindi pa rin maganda na mag-escort. Okay? Number one, it's illegal. Number two, it's risky. Number three, 50-50 yung chances mo. Baka mamaya, um, ma, ano kayo, how you call it? Ma-chempohan ninyo yung, yung officer, yung immigration officer na masungit or masyadong ridiculous. Kasi merong ganun eh. Officer, um, immigration officers na ganun. Yeah, kaya much better na you process your papers you know, in proper way. Diba? At least um, mas mas sure, mas mas okay siya. Kasi yung magbabay ka ng escort na sobrang mahal. Mas mapamahal pa kayo kasi 60 pesos alone for escort only. Okay, 60,000 pesos. Please don't do that. Alright, why we do not suggest or why we do not advise to all Filipinos to come here to Russia? Uh, I think nabanggit ko na ito noon before sa mga sa videos ko. Um, it's because the Russian government and Philippine government are working on um, working agreement. Kasi wala naman talaga tayong working agreement. Okay? So, that is why ang Russian government dito ay nanguhuli. Okay, nanguhuli ng mga, uh, mga, hindi lang Filipino, pati ibang mga lahi na walang documents. So, 
So, yung, yung mga ibang Pilipino na wala talagang maayos na papel, okay, uh, are medyo nag-iingat sila. Talagang maingat na maingat. Okay. Kaya, uh, kaya, we don't, you know, we don't want you to come here na ganito yung sitwasyon. Mas maigi na na maghihintay na maayos ang work agreement ng Russia and Philippines. Yes, maraming trabaho na ito. Actually, maraming nag-ahat na employers na nani, helpers, crew, driver, you know. Marami, marami. Um, gusto ko siyang i-post dun sa Facebook page ko. But, uh, kaya lang, hindi siya, ano, um, hindi, hindi ko, not now. Kasi, uh, I don't want you to take risk. What if may mangyari sa inyo, di ba? Mahuli kayo or what? So, hindi siya maganda. And again, hindi lang naman Russia a country na, no, you know, na pwede niyong puntahan sa inyo. There are other countries. For example, um, if you're interested, um, you can also work in Poland. Okay? If you're interested, you can personally message me and I'll tell you about the details of work in Poland. It's better than there. Uh, for now, uh, compared to Russia and Poland, it's better to work in Poland than to work here. Number one, because uh, mulang, you know, residency dito para sa mga foreigners. Wala, hindi sila nag-grant ng residency unless you married a Russian. Okay? Um, but in Poland, after five years, you can, you can, um, you can apply for resident, for residency, visa residency. Okay, and then if, and then, um, if you have that, then, um, you can go around Europe na. Alright, so, anyway, um, just let me know if you're interested, um, uh, working to Poland, and, uh, I'll tell you the details more about it. Or maybe, or maybe, um, or maybe, I'll make a video on that. But still, you can PM me or DM me on my Instagram or on my Facebook page. Yes. Alright, I think this will be the end. But, um, of course, sino ba naman ako para pili na kayong pumunta sa Russia. Uh, so, if you are currently on process of your paper, um, coming here, or still, if you want to pursue coming here to Russia, despite of what I just mentioned, um, still, it's your decision, not mine. Um, I am just making this video to let you know the facts and the truth about working here in Russia and I hope that, that could be, this could be a little help for you who are watching um, so if you have um, questions or if you're quite curious about your papers then um, you can message me anytime um, I, will try, I will really really try my best to get back to you and um, if you want you know um, if you want to ask for a legitimate agent or, or you know, someone who won't scam you, just message me also. Um, I can refer you to one or two agents that I know. And uh, what else? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, good luck to, to everyone. Sana um, hindi na maulit yung yung mga na-scam na Filipinos. Kapag Pilipino ang kausap nyo, just ask about the details and then just tell them to refer you to their agent, you know, or to an agency directly para hindi kayo mismo dun sa kausap ninyo magbabayad para hindi kayo, you know, ma-scam or, or so what. I, I'm not telling na don't trust, you know, Filipinos, ha? I'm not telling that. I am just telling to be extra careful. I'm just telling you to be more, you know, to be more aware and to be um, and, and to be more cautious when you're processing your papers. So, um, I'm not telling na don't trust Filipinos, no? I'm not telling that. <laughs> Baka ma-misunderstand. Alright? And um, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for for uh, for trusting uh, for trusting uh, my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, sana, uh, sana maging okay yung mag-process ng papers ninyo. And, sana mapag-isip-isip nyo lahat ng mga sinabi ko, kung may katuturan lang siya or what. 
So thank you. And um, please, again, don't please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Um, it's Mini Badar, and um, please like and share na rin so that um, some people would be, you know, would know about this. And also, you can click the bell button so that you can get updated if I have another video. All right. So thank you so much, and God bless everyone. Pakapaka.